the tech industry is grappling with a big diversity problem. If the tech industry doesn't start doing a better job, including people of all backgrounds, what are the consequences? The tech industry has to be a place where people of any background or any demographic or you know whatever origin can really thrive. And there have been some, you know, big missteps uh, on that front that you know, have attracted prominent headlines, and, and rightly so. People are paying a lot of attention just to, to Silicon Valley and to how it is that we do things here, and there's kind of really real ripple effects around the world. And so I think for myself and John, we really try to start at home, as it were. Um, and you know, if we can't build a company and a culture and an organization that we can really be proud of, um, and that we can really feel good about, and that, again, where people of any background can really thrive, then I think we, we, just, we have not achieved anything of value. I think the concern that we all have is that the people who have historically had the best access are the ones who continue to have the best access going forward. Uh, and Stripe is looking to upend that. Mm -hmm. uh, and we see this in the, in the data about giving people economic, economic opportunity. Uh, a woman starts a business on Stripe every few minutes. Uh, within the US, half our customers are in the South or the Midwest. Uh, a third of our customers are first or second generation immigrants. Uh, and so there's what we can do as an organization, but also we look at the impact of the Stripe product out there, not just in Silicon Valley, not just in the United States, but in the broader world and what that can do. And that gets us really excited. Stripe, you know, you, you guys have some really interesting things. You have an open floor plan, so people change desks every so often and can meet new people, gender neutral bathrooms. Um, you have an interesting email transparency policy where everyone can read everybody else's emails, as I understand it. Ish, I would say. It's, um, uh, you know, pe people can choose to make certain emails available, but it's, it's very much on an opt-in per email basis, but anyway. Susan Fowler, the former Uber engineer who wrote that viral blog post about Uber, about sexual harassment and discrimination, and ultimately you know, resulted in the CEO leaving the company, she now works at Stripe. What do you see yourselves continuing to do to attract and retain, you know, whether it's women or underrepresented minorities. There's a whole bunch of sort of specific initiatives that we work on, right? There's things around, you know, making sure that people who become, you know, moms and parents, you know, stay with the company and, you know, we're, we track those numbers carefully and we're, you know, delighted they're as high as they are. And there's initiatives we work on for female entrepreneurs and there's kind of specific hiring practices, both in how we interview people and, um, uh, you know, hiring goals, especially in engineering that we set for managers and, and stuff like that. That. But like, I think sometimes people leap a bit too quickly to kind of what's their checklist of initiatives and then they think they're kind of done. I think that like, if you're actually going to take this seriously and if you're actually going to do it well, uh, I think it has to be something that, that is really deeply kind of just like suffused in the culture and that everybody lives every day. Because, you know, you, you, again, you, you can have a good list of initiatives, but if it's not really in the culture, then you know, it's just not going to work.